G is a group with two elements. Suppose G is a group with two elements and star is a binary operation on G. Okay, prepare composition table of G. Okay, so I'm having group which is having only two elements and star is some binary operation which you don't know what is that binary operation. Okay, but some binary operation is given on that G. Then can I prepare a composition table of this, this particular G? I'm giving you that G is what? G is, a, G is a group. So how will I prepare the composition table of G? Okay, so now if G is a group, obviously G has identity and that identity I'm going to denote as E. Okay. And the other element I'm going to denote by A. Okay, and let A be some other element. So G is given by what? G has only two elements. One element is identity and one element is A. Okay, now if I start preparing the composition table, that composition table will be star here. Okay, and this is E and this is A. Again, this is E and this is A. We want to complete this composition table. Okay, so we will we will first write what is identity into identity. Now we know identity into identity is identity. So this will be E because I'm assuming that what? E is the identity. So what is A star in E? A star E has to be A because uh, it is uh, identity. And what is E star A? E star A also has to be a. The only question remains is that what will be the answer for A star A? Okay, now A star A has two options, right? It's A star A can either be A or it can be E. It can be anything. So why A star A is equal to A is not allowed or why I'm asking why A star A has to be equal to identity? That is the, re that is the thing that we want to justify right so all of us naturally think that a star a has to be equal to how much has to be equal to e but we have to justify this we have to tell the reason that why a star a cannot be equal to a okay so what will happen if a star a is equal to a is there any problem if i write a star a equal to a so if i do this then this will mean that a star a will be equal to what a star e and in that case by left cancellation law what will happen by left cancellation law i will get a equal to e but this is not possible so this is because we have taken a as a different element than identity so this pause this is not possible a cannot be equal to e therefore our conclusion is that a star a in this group cannot be a and therefore the only option left with me for a star a is equal to how much a star a must be equal to identity and therefore this question mark i'm going to replace by what i'm going to replace it by the identity element okay now i will take the same question and i will take a g i will take a group g which is having how many elements group g has three elements Okay, and star is an or binary operation on G. Okay, and uh, I'm again going to construct what? I'm again going to construct a composition table for this particular group. So what will be that composition table for this group? So as done in the above problem, I will again say that suppose E is the identity element because this is a group so it must have identity element and that identity element is a 
and let a and b be other two elements so a and b are not equal to identity okay so let a and b be other elements so a is also not equal to b and uh, a is also not equal to e and b is also not equal to e okay so we have three different elements in a set now so what is g equal to in this case it is identity a and b and now we will try to construct a composition table every entry we will justify properly okay so if i try to draw the table here suppose i'm writing a star as an operation e a b and have e a and b clearly identity into identity is identity because e is identity this will be a and this will be b vertically also i will get this is a and this is b we now have to fill these four entries carefully not randomly but we have to justify every question mark here okay the first question mark is of this so what is a star a okay what is a star a equal to now a star a has three options okay what are the three options of, of a star a either a star a can be equal to a or a star a can be equal to b or a star a can be equal to what a star a can be equal to identity okay now what is a star a equal to okay so a star a equal to a is not possible because in this case i will again do the left cancellation law and therefore i will get what i will get a is equal to identity by left cancellation law and this is a contradiction so a star a cannot be equal to what cannot be equal to e okay so a star a cannot be equal to how much cannot be identity okay if i do a similar calculation with b star b i can similarly say by the same logic if i try to find what is b star b now b star b also has three options b star b can be either equal to b or b star b can be equal to a or b star b can be equal to identity again this particular calculation will give me that b must be identity and this will become what this will become a contradiction so b can so b star b cannot be equal to how much identity therefore in the above table what i have is that this a star a and this b star b they cannot be what they cannot be identity you cannot write them as identity so here i will say that in this question mark for this blank and for this blank okay identity cannot be the answer here also identity cannot be the answer so here i have two options either it can be a i'm sorry either i'm sorry sorry here i cannot write uh, a, a because a star a cannot be a and a star b star b also cannot be b so here i have two choices either it can be identity or b here i have two choices either it can be identity or a i'm not sure of what to write there okay now we will leave these two calculations should i write this or should i is this correct or this is correct we are not sure so right now so what we will do we will keep this some for some time we will not to solve this problem we will go for some other calculations what are the other other calculations the other calculations are i will look at this particular thing instead of that so i will start finding what is the answer for what what is the answer for a star b i will not do these two things i will leave this job pending for some time and let me try to find what is the answer for what what is the answer for a star b probably we may get some data here okay now a star b also has three choices a star b can be identity a star b can be a okay or a star b can be what a star b can be b okay so a star b equal to identity i cannot say anything right now i don't have any justification why this cannot be true but if i look at the second part i have a star b is equal to how much a star e and therefore by left cancellation law what will happen by left cancellation law b will equal to identity and this is a contradiction b cannot be identity therefore i conclude that a star b cannot be a 
and similarly when i write for this a star b is equal to b why is this not possible again i will write a star b is equal to what e star b and i will use the right cancellation law and i will declare that a is equal to identity and again this is a contradiction therefore a star b cannot be equal to b and therefore i conclude that hence a star b equal to identity must hold so this will not work this will not work so a star b has to be equal to how much identity now what is though so in the table above i will go and wherever there is a star b question mark i will replace that a star b question mark by how much i will replace it by identity okay if i use the same logic for finding what is b star a again b star a has three options b star a has options a b star a has option b and b star a has option identity by the using the same logic of a star b again i will get two such cases that b star a cannot be a b star a cannot be b and therefore i will conclude that b star a is equal to identity i hope you understand b star a cannot be a why because if b star a becomes a what will happen b star a will be equal to e star a and therefore i will cancel a from the right hand side and therefore i will get b equal to it again a problem again b star a cannot be b because if b star a is equal to b what will happen b star a will be equal to b star e and by left cancellation law i will get a equal to e again this cannot happen therefore what must be b star a b star a has to be equal to how much b star a has to be equal to identity okay so this means that uh, now i have got a star b equal to identity and b star a is also equal to identity and therefore if i write these two things in a single line i will get a star b is equal to b star a is equal to identity okay don't just look at this part and, and declare that the group is abelian okay don't do that don't make that mistake i have got a star b is equal to identity b star a is also equal to identity and therefore from this equation i can see that a is inverse of a is inverse of what a is inverse of b and i can also say that b is inverse of b is inverse of a right so these two important uh, things i have to keep in mind that who is the inverse of a inverse of a is b okay and who is the inverse of b inverse of b is how much inverse of b is a okay now we will complete our about calculation which is which is pending so if i go for the first part what is a star a equal to b and what is a star a equal to e okay now we have to write what a, which option is correct which of the above calculation is correct if i try to look at this particular option uh, a star a equal to a uh, a star a equal to identity what is the meaning of a star a equal to identity equal to again a star a okay because e is equal to a star a so this calculation will try to tell me that a inverse is a itself correct because a inverse is a because because a star a equal to e equal to a star a means a is inverse of itself okay but this is again not possible why this is not possible because we already know that inverse of a is how much inverse of a is b and in a group we have a very important property which tells that inverses are unique you cannot have two two inverses in a group we have done this in a uh, in in some previous lectures that inverse of a group is unique identity of a group is unique so here a inverse is already b we already know a inverse is b then how can a inverse be equal to a so this is not possible right so this is not possible since what is the reason i should write here since inverse of a is how much inverse of a is b b right and we know that uh, inverses are unique so the inverse of a cannot be what inverse of a cannot be a so this is not possible therefore we are left with only this option that a star a must be b so this property this equation must hold and therefore a star a calculation which i have left as pending here i must write what here i must write identity on similar logic b star b cannot be equal to identity because b star b already b is out of the picture right 
now why is identity and a who is the correct answer why is identity out of the picture because this will mean that b inverse is how much b but we know that this is also wrong because b inverse is how much b inverse is a so even this will also fail to hold and therefore you will conclude that b star b has to be equal to it has to be equal to how much it has to be a so in this way this uh, sorry the b star b is equal to identity sorry sorry and what was uh, this equal to this was Sorry, a star a is how much a star a came up to be b and this came up to be a and this these is identity okay, sorry i filled the wrong alphabets okay so now this becomes the table for a group which is having three elements now observe carefully that if you know some group which is having three elements okay try to compare that group with this particular table so if i know a group which is having three elements so suppose i take g is equal to the uh, group which is z z3 okay z3 with respect to addition modulo 3 okay you will observe that the table is somewhat similar to this so addition operation is there with respect to 3 0 bar 1 bar and 2 bar here also i have 0 bar 1 bar and 2 bar so it will be 0 bar 1 bar 2 bar 1 bar 2 bar 2 bar that this is 0 bar this is 0 bar and this is 1 bar see observe do you observe that these two tables look similar okay who is playing the role of identity in this problem the role of identity is played by 0 bar role of a is played by 1 bar role of b is played by what role of b is 2 bar identity a bar z bar and here you have identity here you have identity here you have a bar a bar and a bar three places a bar is coming here you have one bar one bar and one bar b bar is coming here so b bar is here anti-diagonal is b bar so here you have two bar two bar and two bar identity is at these two places here also zero bar is at these two places so your calculations of that table will also be similar to this particular table only you must be able to label the elements clearly let me take one more group which is having three elements what is another group do we know an example of any other group which is having three elements that group is we have discussed this group already in our previous lectures that group is one omega and omega square what was the operation for this this three are complex numbers omega is cube root of unity and the operation was what simple multiplication when i prepare that table i will get one omega omega square one omega and omega square you have to be careful while writing these things now okay so one into one is one this is omega this is omega square this is omega this is omega square omega into omega is omega square omega into omega square is omega cube but omega cube is how much omega cube is one here also omega square into omega is one and omega square into omega square is omega raised to four but omega raised to four becomes omega so you do you observe that you have identity at exactly these three places where you have identity here a is coming at three places who is playing the role of a in this problem omega is playing the role so omega is here omega is here and omega is at the last entry and all the anti-diagonals are omega square so who is playing the role of b in this problem omega square is playing so you have omega square and omega square so this means that if you take a if you take any group which is having three elements okay its composition table basically has to look in this particular fashion so or if you take any group which is having two elements for example do we know groups of two elements groups of two elements we know z2 is a group with respect to addition of two elements its table will also exactly come like this 0 bar 1 bar 0 bar 1 bar so 0 bar 1 bar and 1 bar 0 bar see you observe this table is same as this table identity 0 bar and a is uh, what a is 1 bar or you have another group which is having 
two elements. Do we know any other group which is having two elements? Yes, we know that element is what? That element is a one and minus one with respect to which operation? With respect to multiplication. So here you have mine one. One is the identity, so I will write one here and minus one is the other element. So the multiplication operation again, if you do this calculation, one minus one minus one and minus one into minus one is one. Again, you observe that this table is exactly matching this table. So what we declare from these two calculations, group of order two and group of order three, the composition tables of both of them are coming exactly similar no matter what the group is okay this indirectly means that if you take any group of order 3 or if you take any group of order 2 it is isomorphic to one of these groups okay so any group of order 3 is always isomorphic to this particular group and its composition table will come up to be the same thing if you take any group of order 2 then it is isomorphic to this group G equal to EA and its composition table will come up to be ENA. Isomorphic means what? Two groups are isomorphic means what? Means they are actually structurally they are same. They look different. Their elements might look different, but structurally their composition table will always look the same. So this was a discussion about groups of order two and groups of order three.